The third helper that we have is a lawyer and a judge. A lawyer is a person who knows the rules of the law and as a result can help us give a proper justice whenever some unjust thing happens to us. Lawyers and judges are found in the courts. Uh, the court that you have at the supreme level in India is called a supreme court as you could find in the middle of the picture shown. And normally the lawyers and judges and courts will have this symbol of balance. Yes, it is a balance between truth and justice that they do. The next helper is our policeman. Yes, you have policemen and policewomen, but you don't call them as policewomen, policemen. They help us uh, in order to get justice again whenever some unjust thing happens. It is the policemen, lawyers and judges which are the protectors of law and order in the society and help us whenever we go to them and require some justice. This is the picture of the fireman. Whenever something gets fire, yes, it is to this that we uh, telephone and the fireman comes with the fire brigade. The fire brigade has a water tank and also a sprinkler or splasher with the help of which he sprinkles or splashes the water on the fire so that the fire could be put down. A fireman and uh, the fire engine are parked in fire station. So we should be knowing that these are our helpers who help us a lot in putting down the fire and giving us a safer life. The next helper in the society is postman. A postman is a person who works for the postal department of the country. Normally his office is a post office and uh, in the middle you could see a post office. Post office has a number of uh, services offered to the public. Um, a money transfer can be possible, money depositing can be possible, fixed depositing can be possible and the most important service offered by them is um, posts and telegrams. You have the post boxes as you could see on the right side and these into these we post the letters and these letters are uh, taken by the postman uh, to various places according to the addresses and postman is one of our helper that help us uh, to communicate between our relatives. In this modern age of telephones and mobiles and internet, I think writing letters is one thing that we started forgetting but writing letters has got its own enjoyment. You can express everything in your own words to your own people. Start writing letters and enjoy. The next helper that you have is soldier. Yes, soldier and army. And there's armed forces in terms of navy, army and air force. All these are the people who stay in the border and safeguard our border so that we can stay happy and safe in our houses. So a salute to these uh, for soldiers who protect us from our uh, enemies on the border. Then we have another helper in the form of driver. The driver can be an auto rickshaw driver, an auto driver uh, as we normally call as or a cycle rickshaw driver. Nowadays, you don't find cycle rickshaws existing. It is the auto rickshaws that we go into or taxis that we go into. If you go to the cities, you could find taxis or cabs. So you have a cab driver or a taxi driver, auto rickshaw driver. And normally, a school bus is one commutation that the children have uh, to go to school. So you have a school bus driver also. And then you have a truck driver. So anybody who drives a vehicle is a driver. Farmer is a person who helps us a lot. Whenever you have a plate in front of you with all your food, roti, sabzi, chawal, dal, everything in, in front of you, you always should thank these farmers because it is the farmers who work day and night with a minimum expectation and a very poor type of lifestyle but still they help us uh, feed our stomach and continue our living. So is the farmer in the first, you could see that the farmer is plowing the field. 
with the help of bullock cart and plough. Then he is sowing the seed. The third picture is a sickle with the help of which he reaps the field. And then the uh, fourth is uh, willowing field. And the fifth is winnowing. Winnowing would mean that it's separating the chaff and the grain. And the grains are packed in gunny sacks and come down to our supermarkets from where we buy. So before we buy the grains uh, or any food items, so much of background, hard work of the farmer goes in. And we should always thank the farmer because he is the backbone of any country. Along with farming activities like these, a farmer also is associated with other domestic activities like poultry, dealing with ducks and hens and their eggs and their chicks. And then you have the sheep and goat. You have uh, the uh, farming related to the pigs, horses, cows, buffaloes, and Identify, this, this is the list of modern equipment and farm tools. I want all of you, this is again given in your assignment, I want all of you to understand what these are and write two sentences to me. Um, if possible, maybe you could uh, attach a picture also so that your understanding about these farm items, farm tools would be fine. Then you have the milkman who gets the milk um, to our houses. It is again a farming activity uh, where he should get up early in the morning, milk the cow, fill the milk in the cans and then take it out, commute to various distances and get the milk. Earlier in my childhood, we used to get the milk in the milk bottles. Then later on, the plastic usage has brought about the milk bags. Um, identify how milk comes into your house and uh, talk to the milkman as to what efforts he takes in milking the cows and getting it to your house. Whether it is rainy or sunny or in winter season, it is this man who always comes to our house to deliver the milk. Along with milk, you all also have the dairy products. The dairy products like milk, curds, buttermilk, cheese, butter, ghee, all these are the dairy products. And um, in our country, the biggest uh, producer of the dairy products is Amul. Just find out as to what this company is and the company works like. The next person who helps us is a tailor. A tailor is a person who stitches the clothes and gives it back to us and makes us look gorgeous. Uh, the tailor uh, sews, sew, S -E -W, sewing, sewing is to stitch. So the minimum equipment that a tailor is expected to have is the sewing machine, then the scissors, the pens, the pin cushions, seam reaper, iron and iron board, thimble, sewing needles, scissors and pressure feet to make his sewing machine work. With the help of all these instruments, the tailor works and helps us to look better with the apparels. I want you to understand all these words, pronounce these words and understand the meaning of these words along with their pictures. The next person who helps us is uh, the electrician. The electrician is a person who works uh, in, order to, in order to see that the electric supply is on for our houses and our workplaces. Uh, the electrician works with his tools like pliers, screwdrivers, nut drivers, wire strippers, fishing tools, measuring devices, labeling machines, power drills and drivers hammer and drills, power saws, wires, plasters and sticking tapes. In the second picture that I've given you, almost all these instruments are there. I want you to correlate the name with the instrument and understand the meaning with their pronunciation for the development of vocabulary and pronunciation. The next man who helps us in the society is a plumber. The normal Indian pronunciation is plumber. Wherever you have M sound and B sound, B always remains silent. So it is not plumber, but it is plumber. A plumber is a person who helps us 
with the water pipes and the fixing of the leakages in the water pipes. So he has the instruments like the channel lock, pipe wrench, basin wrench, hole saw, hose cutter, rib joint pliers, drain augers, aka snakes, and metal file. Identify all his instruments and know their pronunciation. Washerman or Dhobi is one person who helps us a lot to wash our clothes and keep them clean and neat. In fact, uh, if you look at, this is a picture of Mumbai, Dharavi, where you have a Dhobi Ghat. This is the picture of Dhobi Ghat, where all the clothes are, you know, collected by the washerman, got into the Dhobi Ghat, and they wash it there, they dry it there, they iron it with the help of an iron and get us back so that we can wear good clothes and look good. So thank a, fisherman, thank a washerman who enables you to look better. Then you have the barber. A barber is a person who dresses your hair. Uh, normally a barber is a person, is a male and you would find uh, that for female it is called as hair stylist in the beauty parlors. Whatever, both help you to look better by dressing your hair. The instruments that they uh, use are the straight bladed scissors, straight razor, hair comb, electric clipper, duster brush, and so on. Identify these instruments and know their names. He is a cobbler. Yes, you have identified it right. A cobbler. The cobbler is a person who mends the shoes and chappals that we wear. Cobbler's tools consist of hammer, an awl, a knife, a shoe stand, a cutter, spare leather, and thread. Each person that I have mentioned here is helpful in their own way, and without them, we cannot do away with. Without a cobbler, we just cannot wear the chapels and go out or shoes and go out. Even if you have broken a slipper or a shoe, it is the cobbler who mends it and gives you. Only then you can walk properly. You can't even walk without the help of this. Then you have a builder. A builder is a person who builds our homes and various other residential areas. Hammer, nails, power drill, screwdrivers, saw, level, tape measure, electrical tester. These are only a few things that a builder uses. I have a list of things. All these things are used by a builder in order to construct beautiful houses for us so that we could live comfortably and safely. Identify them. Understand their meaning. Try to pronounce these words. Know their meaning. Getting the picture into your mind and do it as an assignment for me. Can you match this? These are the various um, you know, bulldozers and dumpers that a uh, builder uses in order to construct the houses. Can you match this? Yes, the first picture is? That's right, cranes. It's a crane. Now, all these are uh, your homework. Identify them. The next person who helps us to live a spiritually better life, ideally speaking, is the priest. Respective religions have got their respective priests and we have our own beliefs. And the entire life runs on the belief system that we have in our mind, guided by a priest. So you have a Hindu priest, you have a Buddhist monk, you have a Jain monk and a host of priests in the picture who help us to live our life in a spiritually better way. All these are our helpers and we should thank them every day because it is because of them that we can lead our life comfortably and happily. So friends, today we got ourselves acquainted with the helpers in the society. There are many more helpers which could have been touched, but then identify them and thank them every day because it is because of them that we are able to live. Understand them. Understand their working style, understand their tools, and that is how you can improve your vocabulary. I hope you had enjoyed this session. Stay home and stay safe.
Bye for now and wait for the next module.